This is a dolphin pool cleaner and it's broken. The impeller motor stopped spinning, seized up. The fix is to buy this motor assembly that they only sell you as one piece for $450 from my local pool store. If there's a better price I can find online, I will put it right here. This is a black box that they do not want you to open. When you open it, you'll find a motor inside for the impeller motor. Inside that are three bearings like this. And these bearings can seize up and that is what caused the failure of my impeller motor. And if I've uploaded this video, it means replacing it with a $1 ball bearing fixed this entire thing. Let's see what happens. All right, how do you know if your model has the same problem? Uh, mine was behaving like this. I would turn it on, the pool robot would move forward just a little bit, and then it would stop. Lights would go off and it wouldn't give me any indication of what the problem was. I really inspected this cable. Apparently these go bad. Mice chew through these. The next thing to check is the impeller inside of this pool robot. So you open the lid, you're gonna unscrew one panel, which is this, it comes off with two screws, and you will see this fan inside the pool robot. Uh, the impeller should spin by hand. You should be able to reach your hand in there, it clean out the hairs, things like that. And I was unable to rotate it by hand, which told me that the motor that ran my impeller was probably broken. I took the rest of the pieces out from the inside, which only required the use of a screwdriver, and I came to this. This is the black box inside of every dolphin. Uh, the shape might be more square on older models. Now they'll only sell this as one assembly. And what they really don't want you to do is open it and see what's inside. Inside you're going to find two electric motors and two circuit boards. One motor is the drive motor and the other is the impeller motor. I removed my seized motor and started taking it apart. It came apart pretty easily. There were two black machined bolts holding it together, and the rest I could take apart with my hands. I had to use the pliers at one point to get the brass piece off the other end. Every motor in a Medtronix is a little different. Mine had three ball bearings. Two were on the motor, and a third one was in the brass cap of the electric motor. It's a good idea to check all the bearings. You can spin them just using your fingers. In the case of my seized bearing, it did not spin at all. I could not get it to spin no matter how hard I tried. All the other ones spun super easily. To remove the bearing, I used what's called a terminal puller. It's made for pulling terminals off of a battery. It essentially acts as a press, removing the bearing. It was pretty easy to take off. You could probably just do it with a screwdriver. I had to use a screwdriver at the end, and you can see how easily it popped off. All right, so here's when you're gonna have to take a close look at your bearings. My bearing was a 626RS. So, what does that mean? The size is 626. RS means rubber sealed. ZXZC is the brand name. What I bought were 626 two RSs, which means that they have dual rubber seals. I'll leave a link in the description. And I just used the back of a screwdriver to hammer it on. The next part was a little tricky. If you push the brush out from the inside, then you have access to the spring that keeps pushing it back inward. I used an electrical pliers to move the spring off of where it normally sits so that it wasn't pushing on the brush, and that solved my problem. I was able to pop the motor back into place. This was one of the hardest parts of the entire project. Now it was a matter of putting it all back together. There were a few notches that made it pretty easy to figure out which way to assemble it. It was also a little tricky getting the screws lined up with the brass top, but I kept trying and eventually I got it. Then put the motor back in the black box. Don't forget to reconnect it. Now would be a good time to insert the little motor clip. I forgot and didn't do this until much, much later, but doing it now makes the most sense. Next, we have to close the black box. Make sure that you don't trap any of the wires around the gaskets and make sure that both gaskets are pressed firmly onto the cover before you try to reconnect it. Then it's just a matter of applying pressure around the edge of the case until it's fully sealed and then you can clip it closed by hand. If you're forcing it closed, you might be pinching the gasket and you should take it apart and double check. Then all we have to do is reassemble it. It's not as hard as it looks. You can do it with your hands and a screwdriver, and it only takes about five minutes. Everything clips into place really well. Clearly, it's made to come apart and be put back together.
that went together really well. The impeller motor spun freely from the top, so all signs are pointing to fixed. We have a very, very dirty pool to clean. Let's go see if it works. All right, we're back at the pool. I'm gonna get that dolphin in the water and then set up an underwater camera to see how it went. Will this dolphin break right away? Will it burst into a million pieces? Did I ruin it? We're about to find out. Uh, I've got my underwater GoPro set up. <laughs> oh, look, look at how ridiculous this is. I can't even use this camera. This is, it's October. It's the middle of October. All right. We're in suspense. I won't keep you waiting. I'm gonna fire up the dolphin. Let's see if we can clean the pool. Fingers crossed. One with the screw. Let's do this. That looks normal. Right. If it moves for more than like 10 seconds, that's the side. Oh no. Yes, it's going backwards. It stopped. Why did it stop? It's going? It's going! Oh, what a sight to see! Let me know in the comments. I'm super curious if anybody else decides to do the same fix as me and what their results are. If you have any questions about which bearing to buy, how to replace something, a step that gets confusing, please type below. Let me know. I check those comments every day and I will feed back to you. Click here to subscribe to my channel. Click here to watch more videos. You know the drill. Turn the bell on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. That dolphin robot has been working perfectly since I changed the bearing. No more problem. Found a part, clearly bad, replaced it with a $1 ball bearing, and all is well.